Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day trading report is for trading on August the 1st, Monday, 2016. And you can see here that uh, gold is moving higher with uh, momentum steadily climbing here on the gold market. You can see here getting into the overbought range but still very well supported and this market is definitely trying to make a run for the 1400 uh, initial target area that I told you about so this is definitely one to stay tuned to watch uh, hopefully you got a chance to uh, peep the the weekly um, pulse wave price triggers on the website if you did not then you're gonna want to click the link below the video so that you can um, go ahead and check that out in addition to that uh, you can see here that we've had one two three four five six weeks of straight up bullishness followed by two weeks of a cool down and now we're starting it off to the races again so of all things being equal I have to say that I might have to raise this profit target this initial target it's looking like the initial target technically is going to be probably I want to say 1550 to 1560 all things being equal so this is going to definitely be one to watch for the next several weeks the the bullishness is is to, in my opinion just about to start all right, switching our focus now to the GLD. Same scenario here. This one's not overbought yet, but the momentum's picking up. So this one should continue to run. And with, um, you know, you could see some gapping up, uh, you know, as futures, you know, continue to climb in the overnight markets and overnight, overnight trading sessions. You should see this continue to climb as well. And I may have to raise the profit target on this one to about 150 looking at silver now you can see silver is still just as strong it's entering into that overbought level and all things being equal I might have to raise the profit target on this one too uh, to about 24 to 25 dollars on the silver futures that's what we're looking at right now on the silver futures all right, looking at the SLV, SLV, all things being equal, this profit target is going to have to be raised to about, uh, I want to say, $24 on the SLV. Now, this one, you can see it kind of is, you know, taking it back a little bit. It's hitting the overbought level. Uh, you you would expect for the SLV to be as strong as the futures. If futures continue to rally, then this right here should probably gap up uh, at least once or twice this week. So definitely keep an eye on the SLV because it is it has been known to uh, sometimes even lead the futures in its strength on the on the chart pattern. So it's looking really nice. Market's well supported down here at 1665 loving what this is doing right now all right looking at your miners silver miners look at this nice nice movement uh, it's hitting that overbought level it's moving along with the futures right now market is well supported at 4247 and I'm liking what I'm seeing here on this one this is continuing to climb I'm gonna put the initial target right now at around 52 to 53 dollars just for right now in the short term so we'll see what this one can do uh, as it continues to climb taking a look at our rock star Richmond mining you can see this one uh, is looking pretty good still it's nice it's locking in here it's, it's really trying to get something going as long as it can stay above this 1016 trend line it should be good it should really be good right now I don't see any, any weakness here however let's see here on an intraday basis 1058 now is the new support line 1058 so that's that's looking good 1026 is still a strong support it did build some nice groundwork down there but now it's moved up to about 1058 so you can tighten up your stops to 1058 here on the uh, on the Richmond 
All right, and last but not least, looking at your miners here. Uh, let's see, the gold miner is well supported at 2690. And it looks like the miners are moving pretty much in sync here. Uh, we're not quite at a resistance point yet. It's about to enter that. But we should be able to get an initial profit target on this one. I'm going to give the profit target on this one 35. Just off the strength of the, the gold and the way that chart's moving, I'm going to give this one 35. That's probably a little lofty. It may have to lower it to about 32, 33, but I'm going to shoot for the, for the 35 on this one. All right, well, that's it for our end of day report. Let's see what happens for Tuesday's trading. Remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. So take what you can, give nothing back, and head on over to the website and uh, check out the uh, education uh, section there. And uh, you can subscribe and register for that and take the, uh, the free, uh, free trading course. Also, join us at the Black Ops Trading Room and uh, be encouraged.